Welcome back. We're going to look at another example about dividing whole numbers, and this one's kind of special. It's going to be special because 5 will not divide into 783 evenly. So we're going to have to deal with a remainder in the end. All right? So I want to do this problem much the same way that I explained dividing in my last video. We're going to take 5 into 783 one at a time. So as we go through this process, I think to myself, 5 goes into 7 how many times? Well, the largest that can go in there is just once. So I'll write that number up top. Multiply 1 times 5, get my answer, and of course subtract this away once I've found it. So 7 minus 5 is 2, and we're in pretty good shape. All right, 5 doesn't go into 2, we bring down the 8 to help us out. Looks pretty good. Now we think to ourselves, 5 goes into 28 how many times? Well, I know 5 times 5 is 25, and that's pretty good, and, and 5 times 6 is 30, and that's too big, so we're going to use 5 times 5. 5 times 5, 25, and again, subtract it away. Let's borrow this 3, so we can continue the process one more time. So how many times does 5 go into the number 33? Well, if you think about it for a bit, you will discover that it goes in 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. We will write that on the bottom here. And finally, subtract that away. Now, as you can see, I'm left with this 3, and 5 doesn't go into 3, and I've kind of run out of numbers here. Now, since we're dealing with just whole numbers, it might seem that I'm kind of stuck. No worries. When we get to this point and we have no more numbers to bring down, we're going to call this number the remainder. Okay, so now what this says is that when you take 783 and you divide it by 5, your answer is 156 with a remainder of 3. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.